Okay, this is a message to my future self for when this uh, heater decides not to heat anymore. Um, what we do is this, check the error message on here, the error message, you look it up in the book, you'll probably see something about low pressure, that's what we're going to deal with now. The one I got today was C0288, it says the pressure sensor wasn't able to check the pressure, that's usually the problem. So, you take the top off of this thing and the pressure sensor is right in there. Now you can't remove it because there's a lot of water with pressure behind it. So what you have to do is turn off all the feeds. These two feed the hot water upstairs. You turn those off. These two are the returns. This one, this one. You turn those off. And then you turn the supply here. All five of those go off. Then you come here and you'll see the pressure gauge here. The pressure gauge here is probably reading around 18. The problem is that that pressure gauge up there isn't reading anything because it's blocked. So watch that pressure gauge as you open this up. It'll dump into that bucket and this needle will hit the floor. Once all the water is out of the system here, you can come up here and remove this little pin. You remove that pin and then you can pull this off. Just the whole black part here. Uh, water will come out so you'll want a towel under there. We pull that out and it'll have a plug on the other end. You take a paper clip and you're gonna wanna stick that paper clip a good way in there, like an inch and a half or so. It'll go well into the wide barrel part there. Tiny little hole, you're just clearing it out. Make sure that's clear. And you can put that back on, put the clip back on, and now you gotta refill the system with water. So you open this up, make sure the uh, drain is closed first, and then you open this up, water will return to the system, the pressure will come up again. When the pressure comes up, um, what you want to do first is make sure there's a bucket under this pipe. There's a, this is the bleeder valve, if there's any air in the system, you open this by pulling it up. I don't know if you can see that, but you pull it up and it'll drain into this bucket. Once no air comes out and it's just water, you're good there. It'll refill back to the right pressure. Right now you see I just did all this and it's building pressure. Um, and that's basically it. Once the system is at pressure, um, you can reopen the supply, the return and the supply here. So all five of them should now be open. Um, and on the display you should be reading pressure and heat. And that's it. All right, it'll probably have to be done every year. Um, these sensors used to be faulty. I replaced it, but uh, every once in a while they just get full of gunk and you gotta clean them out with a paper clip. All right, good luck.